I take it in there you weren't entirely thrilled with the party. What happened to the party we planned? Well, I thought that this would be better. You know, classier, more like what you're used to. I'm used to sitting home alone. All right, so after this party, things should be back to normal. <laughs> what have you done to yourself? That hair, that outfit, and where did you get that voice? Well, I got a little from Niles, a little from your father, but mostly Mrs. Howell. <laughs> what were you thinking? Oh, I wasn't. I listened to Miss Babcock. Why, I don't know. Does she entertain? And all the time I've known the woman, she's never had me over once. I can't believe you dressed up like a geek and ruined my party. Oh. That's the nicest thing anyone has ever done for me. Oh, don't mention it ever again. You know, you didn't have to change. Aren't you always telling me to be myself? Sure, when you're you, perfection, you could be yourself. But when you're me, a diamond in the rough. Are you kidding? I'd kill to be like you. Really? I'd kill to be like you. So what do you say we go through a party that'll kill Cece? Oh, now you're thinking like a Deb. Kiss, kiss. Hog, hog. <laughs> Come on, take my hair out. <laughs> Actually, my people came over on the Mayflower. Oh, of course. The collar, the buckle. I didn't put it together without the hat. <laughs> we landed on Plymouth Rock. My family can be traced back for 500 years. We landed on Ellis Island. They changed our names, and now we don't know who the hell we were. <laughs> Okay, who wants sprinkles? <laughs> Your father is really cute. You know, they say I look just like him. They lied. <laughs> you know, these are just delicious. You like, huh? Marshmallow Rice Krispie Treats, always a big hit. Mm, you must give me the recipe for Cook. Honey, buy the cereal. It's right on the side panel. What, you gonna make me write it down? <laughs> Maxwell, this woman is a gem. Oh, Maureen, enough! <laughs> Fran tells me you're mounting a new musical. I want in. Do you think that you have room for one more investor? For Mrs. Wentworth, anything. And I'm certain this one's gonna be a monster hit. I know. The fortune teller told me. <laughs> I tell you for the hundredth time, I see no tall, dark, handsome nothing in your future. <laughs> This is a great party, Maggie. I hate to go home. What do you say I give you a ride in the limo? Just me and you in the back seat. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> Fran, thanks for everything. Oh, Angel. <laughs> hmm? I never doubted you for a minute. Come on, I want you to pick first from the grab ball. Me? Oh, I wasn't gonna pick. All right. Oh, I wonder what this could be. 